Hello, how are you? We've finally done a season's lookbook. So we've got our season summer, autumn, winter, spring. So I have gone around this way as it cycles. Now for the first activity, we're going to name the seasons. So as usual, we've got our Velcro sticky dots, summer, autumn, winter, and spring. So talk about the different uh, features in the picture. Now, one thing with climate, or weather, it changes depending on climate, yes? So I was born in Kalgoorlie and our summers were very dry and hot and our winters were very dry and freezing. But we never saw, oh, maybe once or twice in my 17 years there, we saw snow, which was kind of like frost on the grass, not proper snow in the trees. Um, so moving down to Perth, it's a bit more wet and mild and then you go down south further and it's a lot wetter. Yes, so the seasons are going to look different depending on where you live. Um, so in this one, we've got our fruit growing on the trees. The sun's big and bright. It's all nice and green. Now if you're in Kalgoorlie, it's not looking so green. Yeah, whereas down south, it probably still would at the beginning of summer. Depends on where you are. Um, autumn, there's lots of leaves. Um, a lot of the artwork suggested that it rained lots in autumn, and I guess it does. Um, in Perth, it's likely to rain in February as much as it is in winter, but again, um, to use these as a tool to talk about the weather around you, yes? And just to recognize the different features in the different seasons. So winter is freezing. Um, if you're somewhere where there's snow, you could build snowmen. Not gonna happen in Perth or Kalgoorlie or this side of Australia for that matter. But again, talking about it, what your winter actually looks like and then spring. So recognizing the four different seasons. Now say somewhere up north or Queensland, I think they recognize two seasons, wet and dry. So their summer is wet and their winter is dry. Again, have those discussions, how it looks different, um, depending on where you are. And then we are sorting out the months that fit into each season. So here in Australia, we've got December, January, February in summer, March, April, May in autumn, June, July, August in winter, and September, October, November in spring. So again, sort them all out. Now, depending on the age of your little one, this will be more a discussion point, do it with them, rather than them getting to sort them out. Yes? So the age on this, depending on how you use it, is going to vary a huge amount. All right, then we've got sort the weather. So I've just stuck bits and pieces on. Um, there's going to be a lot of sharing for this one because there's no black and white, right or wrong answers. Now, yes, cyclones and tornadoes, I'm not sure when they happen, but I'm pretty sure it's not winter. I mean, we had one in Cal in the whole time I was there, or one decent one worth talking about anyway. And then, you know, every now and then they come in as far as Perth, but it mostly sticks to the coast further up north as far as I'm sure, um, as far as I know. But let's go for winter right now. Doesn't look snowy here. It's cloudy and rainy pretty well there's been a rainbow every single day for the last few weeks really we've noticed on school runs so we're not going to use that one i'm going to put cold there i mean cold for us here is i don't know under 10 degrees not well under zero is cold too but it just doesn't really happen um hot for summer so we sit around 45 degrees on a really sucky day um umbrella you can stick with the rain if you want to so our autumns are pretty mild i'm going to stick the cloud, I would share this cloud as well. Um, possibly a bit of rain going on. Do you see how you need to share them for each one that you're doing? And again, your climate, your weather is going to look different from what we see here. And then definitely sun in, well, can be any of them, but summer and spring. Um, never gonna see snow here, at least not falling from the sky, unless climate changes you know, kick in a bit more severely. Um, and then you've got your thunderstorms, which we get a decent amount of them in winter. All right, does this help? Does you see that there's, yeah, there's no right or wrong answers, but to have those discussions about the different types of weather, how it looks today versus how it looked yesterday. Um, that's been a big thing in Perth. It can be rainy and stormy one day and then the sun's out and it's all good again the next day. Um, let me just stick these back. Oh, actually, no, I need these again for the next page. I think. Oh no, I don't. Sorry, that was in. Oh, I've got a days of the week one coming soon too. So that is what I was thinking of when I said that. Um, let's get that bit off. Sort the clothing. So again, there'll be a little bit of sharing. 
So here our summers are hot. You're definitely in thongs or I'm pretty sure you call them flip flops. Yes, on the other side of Australia. They laugh at us for calling them thongs here. Um, hat, definitely need a hat with the sun. Shirt and shorts. Jackets um, in winter for cold. Scarves and gloves. Not many people wear gloves on this side of Australia that I've noticed. Coaches at gym had their beanies on in the morning. Uh, spring, you've got a puffy jacket. You could share that jumper there as well, or you could switch that out with shorts because it's not really that hot. Um, let me put that one back. And for rainy weather, which has been associated with autumn there, but you know, either way, depending on where you are, you've got your raincoat, boots, your umbrella. You could put your long sleeve and your pants with that as well. Same as with this one. Yeah, so just discussing the different types of clothing. My girl had a huge amount of issues with this getting dressed in the morning for daycare. It turns out it was a huge part of sensory, um, but it would take her about three months to get used to having long sleeves. So by the time winter ended and it started getting hot, she would wear her long sleeves for another three months um, through summer. So we we're always in the wrong clothes, but something like this may have helped as far as picking clothes um, suitable for the season and the weather, yeah? Oh, lost my pants. There we go. And then we've got activities. Now, again, no kid on this side of Australia is going to build a snowman, not unless it's out of our DIY snow stuff. Um, but we're looking at the picture. So we're looking what's in there. So we're inferencing and problem solving. Okay, there's snow here if you've got four to choose from. And you may have to do process of elimination first, I suppose. So I would pick this one first and go, well, look, there's a snowman. He's building a snowman. We could do that in snowy weather. Whereas you're going to be swimming in summer with your snowman melted. So that would be this one. We've got the beach. Now, not so good in rainy weather. Summer can be a bit too cool, but going to the beach in, sorry, did I say summer? I meant spring. But going to the beach in summer is normally your best bet. This boy is going for a bike ride and well, there's no flowers on the floor, but the grass is nice and green. So we're gonna stick him there in spring and she's a bit wet, it's raining and she's got leaves in her puddle there. So the leaves have fallen off the trees. That does happen here. So that's a good indicator of autumn because there's mess everywhere. All right, that is it for this one. Do you wanna quickly have a look? Hang on, hey, look, look, look. This is coming soon. So you've got days of the week. I'll do a proper video in a sec. Well, it won't be a sec for you. You'll see it later. Days of the week, again. So we order them. Months of the year. Seasons. So again, you can change it depending on where you are. The report for the day. Choose your weather. Activity you're going to do. And then you get to practice writing. All right, I'm going to go. Talk to you soon. See ya.